Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman Baseball First Edition, break number 15, which sold out before 14. Ryan, did I get the right list? Um, I did. I did get the right list. All right, so and we'll do 14 right after this, but here is break 15, which sold out first. First to fill, first to break. There you go. There we have it. There you go. Thanks, everybody. Oh, and due to a uh, due to a counting error, I don't think break sixteen exists. So we we took that down and refunded everybody on that. We'll try to get some more of these. I guess official Bowman. Or Bowman Regular, if this is first edition, Bowman Normal Edition, I guess, is coming out at the end of the month. So don't worry, we'll have we'll have more of this Bowman baseball later this month. We'll try to dig up another one of these first editions too. I think all card ship in this, right? I haven't done one of these boxes in a couple days. Yeah, all card ship. Bowman baseball to be to have better packs otherwise those breaks are going to take like two hours a case oh we're always on the lookout for older Bowman Rex but they're, I mean Bowman go, jumps up in price all the time so so it's hard to get any at like a decent price. So my advice for everybody in 2020 or every year is buy as much as you can that first initial run of products that we post on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Get as much as you can early and often because subsequent cases will always be more expensive. And then years later, it'll just, that'll just be too late. It'll be just be way too expensive. Like it's gotten to a, it's gotten to a point where like whenever we try to look for like Bowman trout boxes, you can't even buy them by the case. It's too expensive to buy them by the case. You have to buy them by a single box. I don't think COVID has even has anything to do with the price of Bowman. It's just every year, COVID or not, it'll just skyrocket in price quickly afterwards. So you just kind of have to get on it as, as quickly as possible. There's Tanner Hawk. So all cards will ship, ladies and gentlemen. So everything you see here will ship, and obviously we'll set these aside to sleeve early on. Nice. Jonathan India to 25. Orange for the Reds, that'll be for Elijah. We've got a foil Tanner Hawk right here too. Luis Robert. Goes by Robert. There's Julio Rodriguez.
Adley Rushman Foyle. Nice one for the Orioles, Michael. I mean, for a lot of these players, it is worth looking up, even these base cards. You know, for, for people like Hunter Green or... Because even some of some of these base cards here could go for a lot more than you think. Like this Bobby Witt Jr., second overall pick. That's for the Royals. That goes to Aaron Tooley. So him along with with Jason Dominguez are going for going for a lot. Nico Holsizer for the Rays to 75. That'll be for Sandy. And there's a Jason Dominguez right here. People saying his base cards, just like this, going upwards of $150, $200. I think Bobby Witt's not too far behind him and then goes down the list from there. Sorry, I had a bandage on my thumb. You know, this, mm -hmm. The stickiness, the, the adhesive on the bandage on my thumb. Chris Valamont for the Twins. That'll be for Dan Carlberg. Reynaldo Hernandez for the Rays. Another Jason Dominguez for the Yankees. That's the second one for Aaron Tooley. Nice. Yeah, so that yeah, that possum for the A's, forty bucks. The Bobby Witt, forty fifty bucks. Dominguez could touch over two hundred dollars. So it's it's worth looking up all uh, if you receive these cards. If you're lucky enough to get cards in the mail, it'd be worth looking all these up and, and taking a look at these. But yeah, Jason Dominguez is the big chase here. Kind of a perfect storm for Jason Dominguez. Big international prospect, big hitter, big market team. Wow, and a foil, what do these go for? He's got a nickname that checks a box. This is like what Cooper's saying. This is like five hundred bucks. There you go. Congrats, Aaron. Sam Huff for the Rangers. Another Bobby Wood Jr. Sam Huff goes to John Samuelson and the Rangers. Well, I think I saw some Josh Youngs in there too, John. 
Marco Luciano to 150. I think that's supposed to be one of the bigger Giants prospects. Austin Beck for the A's on the other side of the bay. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Yankees must have been, what, 150, 200 bucks in this box? And he's already got two Dominguez's in that foil one, so he could buy the, the Yankees a few more times now. There you go. That's it. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. This was first edition number 15, which sold out before 14. We're going to do 14 next. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'm out.